In a rehearsal room near Glasgow, the sensational Alex Harvey experience run through their set, preparing for two shows at the end of this month, paying tribute to the legendary 70s act of almost the same name. Keyboard player David Cowan. For me personally, um, I listen to the songs and I try and play them as close to the original as I can, so that the audience do see that, that they're getting as close to the original band as possible. Does that matter to the audience? Yes, I believe so. If you go to see a tribute band, you would look for things like that, you would look to see, are they going to do this, are they going to do that, and I think it adds to it. And rather than being a cover band, I think if you're doing the tribute scene, it's you're going up a level. Mildly flattered and even slightly bemused by all this is the sensational Alex Harvey Band's original drummer, Ted McKenna. Ted's been busy on tour with the Michael Schenker Group and with Band of Friends, who were Rory Gallagher's backing group and play the late Irish guitarist's music. So where is the crossover point between tribute and originality? The essence of it is the songs are great. The reason ABBA, the reason the Eagles, all these tributes are there because the songs are great. And you can't do it if you're in a tribute band. You can't change them around, but we can because we play the original songs. You have to put some of yourself into the music. We do the same as Rory did because Rory never did it the same every night. What about the other side of this uh, discussion in which you are a tributee? in that there are a few sensational Alex Harvey band tribute bands floating oh, yeah. around yeah. and so there are people who are playing Ted McKenna <laughs> how does that feel? Uh, well, um, it's a compliment it's, uh, you know, I'm flattered on the occasions I've seen bands doing stuff I always want to jump up and join in and go, you know, no, I think the middle should be a wee bit more like this, <laughs> and uh, you, you get that drum fill, I know it's a, I can't play it myself either, <laughs> uh, I did it when I was 22, well, you just feel as if you spent all those years doing that, and you believed in it, and you loved it, it's a compliment, it's great that people still think it's worth something.